Imagine a world where North America split into 13 different districts, and then one of them kind of got exploded. And imagine a world where we're led by a tyrannical ruler called the Capitol, with a president who decided that it would be great to torture every single remaining district by taking one male and one female between the ages of 12 and 18 to compete in the Hunger Games, a series of gladiator-like games that are basically 24 children under the age of 18 fighting until one of them survives. They're basically just going to kill each other. That's just basically what the Hunger Games is about. It's uh, about North America split into 12 different districts with Katniss Everdeen being the center of the story. Katniss Everdeen is a girl from District 12, the coal mining district, and she is she volunteers for her sister when her sister is randomly selected to compete in the Hunger Games. Um, and Katniss is very protective of her sister and decides to take her place. And she also goes there with uh, Peter Mellark, who is the local baker's boy, baker's son, who accompanies Katniss to the capital to train for the Hunger Games. And together they go in with um, 22 other kids to fight till the death. And that's basically what the Hunger Games is about. I think it's a really daunting task to take on something like the Hunger Games as a film because it is very, um, just very jam-packed with a lot of morals and a lot of themes and a lot of things that we deal with in our real life. And I feel like it's it's kind of scary that we relate to the Hunger Games so much because it's a very horrible place to live in, like this world where you're ruled by a very like sadistic um, government, and it, it's very weird how we can connect to that so easily because we do have a very corrupt government, and I think that it must be something so complex and scary to have to worry about adapting the major million dollar or like millions of copies being sold Hunger Games book into a, uh, into a film and we have to remember that it's not their job to perfectly translate every single sentence into the film. Um, like one character, Madge, was cut out of the film and from reviews I've seen it, it makes a lot of sense in the like final outcome. And it's just the sense that it's their job to bring to life the characters we know and love and the story that we know and love and portray it in a very um, cinematic and powerful way on screen that people will really like. I did something in this movie. I mean, I've been waiting for it for years now since I read the book, and it was always sort of something really um, far-fetched that I couldn't really grasp the concept of it being turned into a movie. I always saw it as something very cinematic because it's a very action-filled book. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the portrayal of all my favorite characters. Katniss Everdeen is probably one of the best characters in literature. I've read a lot of like classics and um, modern or uh, contemporary novels, and a, a, lot of, a lot of them, I can um, concede that Katniss is one of the best literary characters. She's just written very well and she's a really strong character that you don't get a lot. You compare Katniss to like Bella Swan and you have you have like a delicious ripe pear versus like a piece of your grandma's fruitcake and I don't know. Katniss is just a pear.